What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm sharing style mistakes that I have fixed that I no longer do anymore. I thought this would be a really fun and informative video to share with you guys in case you do these mistakes and just something to help you guys out in case you're looking to increase your style, look and feel better. So these are personal things that I used to do but don't do anymore and I thought it would be fun to share with you guys today. So anyways, um, if you're new, subscribe for more weekly videos and let's go ahead and dive right in. So this first one I might have shared in a previous video before so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself I try not to do that uh, but the first mistake that I fixed is that I return things that I do not hundred percent love so a lot of times myself included and I have to catch myself so much but a lot of times I settle for things thinking that like okay this is fine I can wear it for this and this and I'm not completely sold on it I don't completely love it and I feel like that we work so hard for our money and there's so many options out there when it comes to clothing and style and things like that that I think it's totally a good idea to be extremely picky with clothing because you're spending your hard-earned money on it so you want it to be something you 100% love to be really really picky with clothing how it fits you how it feels avoid itchy things avoid uncomfortable things really pay attention to it and pay attention to how it makes you feel if it makes you feel fabulous and you can't picture yourself without it then definitely keep it but if it's something where it's like oh this is okay do not keep it I trust me save that money for something that you will love so much more okay next one I'm really happy to share because this is something that I struggled with so much but it is wearing the incorrect bra size so in my case I always purchased one that was too small thinking that I will eventually fit into it why did I think that I have no idea and if you pick the correct size you're going to feel so amazing when you put clothing on your body because whatever you put underneath is going to reflect how you feel on the outside when you put on clothing and if you're a fuller busted lady like myself it's really important to have the correct bra size so you don't have any weird spillover or if it's not too big you just want the correct size no matter what size you are I just think it's super duper important because it's going to make clothing that you put on look so much better next one is purchasing a low quality jeans and by low quality I don't mean you know something that is cheap like the price of it a lot of times you can find really high quality jeans for an affordable price but I'm talking about uh, jeans that feel really thin or they rip really easily or they just don't feel like a good pair of jeans and if this is something you wear constantly and then this is something you want to pay attention and make sure you have a really good quality pair that will last you for years I used to actually always buy jeans that are one way too long on me or fit really really awkwardly so sometimes it's just worth it to spend a little bit more money on a piece of clothing that you wear constantly that will fit you really good and the quality is there as well there's lots of high quality jeans you can find for below a hundred dollars that I've recommended in many of my videos but this is something I used to always do I always try to spend like 15 bucks on a pair of jeans and most of the time they were not a good fit at all and it really sucked because I spent so much money on a bunch of jeans that don't look good or flatter my specific body type and that money is gone I can't return the jeans anymore so instead you know again like be picky with it okay this one I am so happy to share because I feel like a lot of us probably make this mistake but it is thinking that you are only one certain size so a lot of times us women are stuck on being you know one specific size and we don't explore our options or try on different sizes like some that are smaller or a going up a size and you know I definitely struggled with this I was always told myself I'm an extra small and that's it there's no way I'm gonna try a size small uh, because you know that's just not gonna fit me it's gonna be too big but I've learned that like you know depending on the piece of clothing sometimes it's better to go up a size or down a size and a lot of times switching up your size depending on the piece of clothing or trying on different sizes uh, well the clothing will actually might even look better on you if you get a size that's not normally what you wear so you know I try on size is anywhere from extra small small and medium so three different sizes and I think that's a good idea because especially just depending on the type of clothing you're purchasing what you're looking for how you want it to fit sometimes just trying on different sizes can really get you the exact fit that you want fifth one I struggled with this one so much but it is wearing wrinkly clothing so it definitely does not look good 
I'm just gonna be flat out honest. Sometimes it's just a piece of clothing that just wrinkles really easily. So, you know, what I try to do is I avoid those pieces of clothing, which can suck, but I really try to avoid clothing that will wrinkle easily because a lot of times you'll steam it, you iron it, you put it on, it looks great, then as soon as you sit in your car and then you get out of it, the back, let's for example, is all wrinkly, the bottom, and it just doesn't look good. And if it's something that will get wrinkly easily and just totally ruin your entire look and appearance and outfit just don't purchase it avoid it and also with that remember to steam iron your clothing as well because wrinkles obviously don't look good okay number six is wearing clothing with pilling so this is where this bad boy comes in which i've shared so many times in different videos but you know clothing that get those little fabric pills on them is definitely not attractive doesn't look good it looks very cheap and something having something like this is literally the best 20 dollars you will ever spend i use this on clothing on my couches and it's just honestly a lifesaver i highly recommend it it gets it off like butter and it literally saves you so much money because a lot of times you know we throw away those clothing pieces that have a lot of pilling on them and by just spending 20 dollars on a little tool like this will save you from tossing so many pieces of clothing okay the next one that i definitely fixed which was probably the most the biggest struggle out of all of these points for me is i don't wear linty clothing anymore and i know Notice one of the things I struggled with is keeping up with like um, lip rolling myself is that I'm so busy that is like the last thing on my mind when I'm trying to get out of the house especially now I have two kids and just getting everybody fed changed and ready and out of the house is literally the biggest task of the day it literally takes like two hours of, <laughs> of my time to do all of that and like lint rolling my clothing is like the last thing on my mind so what i've recently <laughs> done is purchased a travel size lint roller this is by flint and honestly just i keep this in my bag i actually i keep it in this little pouch with all of my other everyday handbag essentials and it's honestly so darn handy uh, because it's small it's travel sized and if i forget to lint roll myself especially if i'm wearing something black i just pull it out of my bag and quickly lint roll myself while i'm in the car okay then the last and final one is wearing clothing that is uncomfortable so ill-fitting or itchy or especially shoes you know definitely avoid this because if you're not feeling good like where the clothing that you're wearing it's gonna show so definitely you know if you've Put on something itchy, you know, don't buy it, don't wear it, especially shoes. If you put on a pair of shoes, it doesn't matter if they're the cutest shoes in the world. If they are uncomfortable from the moment you put them on, put them back and look for something different because it is very likely you're not going to wear those things and it's just going to sit and collect dust in your closet. So that's another thing I learned. That's something I actually really struggled with is I would purchase clothing that was so cute and it was uncomfortable in some way or another, but I decided to keep it and I would tell myself, I'll just suffer through it. It's fine. It's just such a cute piece of clothing. That was really stupid. Please learn from my mistakes. Save yourself the money and trouble and hassle and being, being uncomfortable and just avoid buying things like that. Okay, so we made it to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed hearing these eight different style mistakes that I fixed. I hope this was fun to watch, informative. Hope you learned something. And again, if you're new, subscribe for more weekly videos and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye!